Maintaining consistent character appearances across AI-generated images has always been a challenge. If you've ever tried creating visuals for a story, you probably know what I'm talking about. One image looks perfect, but in the next, the character has a completely different hairstyle, outfit, or even face. It's frustrating. But I've been playing around with this new AI tool and it makes the process so much easier. It allows you to keep your characters consistent across every scene and even turn those images into fully animated videos. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through exactly how to do it step by step. By the end, you'll know how to create a character sheet, train a consistent model, generate multiple scenes, and bring everything to life with smooth animations. Let's dive in. Head over to the website by clicking the link in the description below. And once you're on the dashboard, click on New Project. The first thing you'll need to do is select the right aspect ratio. I recommend going with 16 by 9 since it gives you plenty of space to work with. Once that's done, take a look at the left toolbar. Click on Character and you'll see two tools character sheet and consistent character. The consistent character tool requires you to provide training images that have a specific character with uniform characteristics. But you need to make sure that the images are high quality, watermark free, and with dimensions of at least 512 pixels in both width and height. Also, you can use between one to 30 images for training. If you've already created your character, you are good to go. But we are going to start with the character sheet tool because this is where we'll set the foundation for training your character model. Now this part is important. When you create a character sheet, you need to describe your character in as much detail as possible. Include things like their age, hairstyle, clothing, shoes, and any unique features they have. The more descriptive you are, the better the results will be. Once you've entered your description, select your aspect ratio. Again, I recommend 16 by 9 for the best layout and click Generate. The AI will take your description and create multiple views of your character, front, side, and other angles, all in one character sheet. Once the character sheet is ready, hover over the images to preview each result. The next step is to isolate each character view into its own image. First, go to the layer panel at the top right. Click the three dots on the top layer and click duplicate to create a copy of that layer. Since there are three images we want to crop, we'll duplicate it one more time. Now with a layer selected, click crop and drag the crop border to isolate one of the character's stances. Once you are satisfied with the cropped area, click done. Now repeat this process for every layer. After the images are cropped, we need to make sure that our images are high quality. With a layer selected, click that fit to content button right here to center the image. Then go to the Enhance tool and turn on Portrait Mode to make sure facial details stay sharp. Select Standard Strength and hit Generate. When you are done, download the enhanced image. You can enhance it even more right here, but I think the resolution we already have is enough. Now repeat this process for all layers. Once the images are ready, it's time to train your consistent character model. Head over to the Consistent Character tool. If you click on Choose a Character, you'll see that there are already some preset characters you can use to generate consistent images. You can try using one of these characters to get a feel on how this tool works. If you click the edit button on a preset character, you'll see the images they use to train the tool. These are good examples for generating your own training images. But let's add our own character. Click on new character and give it a name. Then upload the images you prepared and click train. This process usually takes about 30, 40 minutes. So I will be back when it's done. As you can see, it is finished. Now, select your newly trained character and you'll see a default description that captures their main appearance loaded into the text prompt. You should keep this description to reinforce the character's details. If you don't, the results won't be as consistent, especially the name of your character. But if you delete it by accident, you can just click the restore button right here and it will bring back the default description. Now, following the default description, Let's add an action right after it. Let's say he is sleeping soundly in bed. You can also set the aspect ratio here. I'll choose 16 by 9 again. Once everything is ready, click Generate, and in a few moments, the AI will create a new scene featuring your character. This is very impressive. You can see that your character's outfit, 
hairstyle and features will remain consistent across every image, but sometimes the character's outfit will not fit the scene. I'll show you how you can change your character's outfit so it matches the image you want to create. For a swimming scene, if we leave the default description, add he is swimming in a pool and hit generate, the AI will get confused and generate a weird image. But if we change the default prompt to a swimsuit and generate again, the results are fantastic. Adding more details to your prompt can really improve the results. For example, if we put he is dancing and hit generate, the results will be a bit generic and boring. But let's write a very detailed prompt like he is dancing energetically in a brightly lit room. His arms are raised mid-movement and his legs are bent as he performs a lively dance move, capturing the rhythm and motion with enthusiasm. The room features a wooden floor and is decorated with string lights and posters of musical artists on the walls. Sunlight streams through a large window, casting soft shadows that highlight his dynamic movements. This was written by ChatGPT. Let's hit generate. Now the results are more cinematic and lifelike. But there is one more feature I'd like to show you. With this tool, you can also add text to your image. I'll adjust the prompt to, he is sitting by a large window, gazing outside as sunlight streams in, casting soft shadows on the wooden floor. The room is decorated with string lights and posters of musical artists, creating a cozy and creative atmosphere. The title, Dream Big, is in a flowing modern font with a slight glow, making them stand out against this soft background. The design creates an inspiring and uplifting feel, perfectly complementing the peaceful and thoughtful scene. I'll select a different aspect ratio and click generate. And just like this, we've created an amazing cover for a story. For more guides and details about consistent character generation, you can click this guide right here and read an article with more tips. Once you've generated all the scenes you need, you can take things to the next level by turning them into animated videos. To do this, open the image to video tool and set your starting frame. This should be one of the images you generated. In the prompt box, describe the action you want, like the camera slowly zooms in as the character sleeps peacefully in bed. Use the imagination slider to control how closely the AI follows your description. Slide it to the right for more precision or to the left for creative freedom. I'll leave it in the middle for a more balanced result. Then choose your duration. I think five seconds for this will be great and click Generate. It takes about five minutes to process. I'm really impressed with the result. The motion is smooth and natural. If you're happy with it, you can download the clip to save it. Design gives you 32 credits per day completely for free. Besides that, there's the beginner, creator, and master plans. So if the free plan isn't enough for you, you can go ahead and pick one of those up. If you wanna try this tool for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you'd like me to create more tutorials like this, drop your suggestions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.